Hi, today we're going to make a mermaid origami from my book, The Castle That Kai Built. So let's get started. So we have our origami and we have our scissors. So let's begin by cutting out our origami. Keeping her head up at the top and her tail at the bottom, let's take a close look at the lines. This is line A and it extends from the corner of her tail all the way up. It does so on the other side too from the corner of her tail all the way up. That's line A. Line B goes across her hands on either side. Here's one and here's line B on the other side too. Line C goes alongside her head and crosses her arm. Note that line C does not go to the point. It just goes alongside her head and it repeats on the other side. So our first step is to create some guide folds along line C. Do your best and fold along line C. Remember that it doesn't go all the way to the corner. It just goes alongside her head. Let's repeat on the other side. So that we have a guide fold. Okay, now we can open Kai up again. So you see her head is still up and her tail is still down. We're gonna create what's called a kite fold. So we're gonna fold this corner to this corner so that we create a nice diagonal line down the center. And this is just going to be a guideline so that we can create our kite fold. There you go. Okay, open it up again. Now we're going to fold up on line A by folding this edge and matching it to the center. Try to create as um, sharp a point as you can near her tail. And let's create that fold on the other side too. Meeting that edge nicely in the center. And this is your kite shape because it really looks like the shape of a kite. Now, we're going to fold her hand open along line B. Do the best you can. Just go from the corner and fold it nicely open. Repeat on the other side. Now you see how they're both even? They meet in the center. Now we're going to use that line C fold as a guideline to fold her head in. See how there's line C right there? Right along that crease we made earlier. Repeat on the other side, using that crease as a guideline. There you go. Now the last step is to fold her tail. And it's just to create a nice bend in her tail and you can fold it right or left, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's turn her over. And there's Kai the Mermaid.